So the question here is, uh, why not use deep learning for every problem, especially when you have lots of data? Because as we discussed in our deep learning chapters, when you have lots of data, deep learning tends to work better typically. Then the question here is, why are we even studying classical machine learning algorithms like logistic regression, tree-based algorithms, all of that? Why can't we just move to deep learning? So I'll answer this question with a lot of cases, one by one. Number one, deep learning as of 2018 works best when you have data like images, video, audio, uh, or more complex tasks like machine translation of text from one language to other language, etc. Right? If you already have simple features, if you already, so for, for example, let's take the simple problem of predicting the probability of an ad being clicked, right? A very simple problem, right? So based on the features that you already have, simple models like logistic regression and slightly more complicated ones like uh, tree-based models work fairly well. And the incremental benefit of using a deep learning model is minuscule, is very small. And for solving a real world problem, there will be many real world constraints. For example, you might want the model to be highly interpretable, which means you don't want the model to be black box. You want to understand why a model decided one class label and not the other class label. When interpretability is important, using non-deep learning models like logistic regression, like tree-based methods like gradient boosted decision trees, random forest, etc. are much better, number one. Number two, there will be instances where you want to respond back. You get a query point XQ and you want to respond back with YQ very, very quickly in just a few milliseconds. Those are called low latency applications that we have discussed in our course multiple times. So when you have low latency requirements, deep learning evaluation time is significantly more than simple algorithms like tree-based algorithms or simple logistic regression. Right? So these, these are just a couple of cases and even training deep learning models can get fairly complex, especially when you have an extremely deep model. Making it work, designing the right architecture is non-trivial. It's, it's actually, it's, it's, it's a mix of science and art today, as, as of 2018, by the way. So there is still, there are still lots of applications in, in machine learning and AI where we still continue to use simpler, more basic algorithms like logistic regression, like boosted decision trees, like uh, like random forest, because it's much easier to train them. They're much more relevant, especially if you want interpretability of a model or when you want low latency requirements, right? So the actual model to be used is actually to be decided based on the real world constraints and the real world problem and requirements of the problem that we solve. It's very, very important that we don't have favorite algorithms in machine learning and deep learning. A lot of people, especially youngsters, when they learn, they have one favorite algorithm and they try to apply that algorithm to every problem. Please don't do it. Please, because I, I, I came through that pipeline myself. It's very important to choose the right algorithm for the right problem. That is as important as knowing more algorithms. Trust me.